the prince led her out to the garden on a cold night and got down on one knee surrounded by electric candles. It happened while the sweethearts were watching the sunset over a volcano in Nicaragua. He said of the special night, she was on the sofa, so that made it easier. I said, will you marry me? Over the years, men of the royal family have been crowned the most eligible bachelors in the world. So it's no news they break millions of hearts when they finally pop the question. Their proposals are always kept private, with the details emerging over time. From Prince Harry down on one knee at Kensington Palace, to Mike Tyndall proposing with the TV on, we reveal the romantic and sometimes underwhelming ways the royal men have popped the question. The future king and queen romanced for eight years before Prince William finally put a ring on it. Their engagement shocked the nation when it was announced on November 16, 2010. But how much do you know about the thrilling moment that ended William's bachelorhood? The prince whisked his princess away to Kenya for a private engagement with friends. He said the couple had spoken of marriage and he knew it was finally the right time. The Duke had been carrying around his mother's famous sapphire ring for three weeks beforehand. The 12 carat oval sapphire, surrounded by 14 solid head diamonds, was created for Princess Diana. The bling was estimated to cost around £30,000 in 1981. The sweet prince decided on the ring in a sweet nod to his mum so that her presence would be felt on the special day. Ah, oh, how romantic. It's no news that this royal pair courted for far less time than Will and Kate. Prince Harry swept Meghan off her feet when he proposed to her after a year and a half together. The low-key proposal happened during a cosy night at Nottingham Cottage in 2017. In an interview, Harry revealed that it was just a typical night for the two. The prince led her out to the garden on a cold night and got down on one knee surrounded by electric candles. They even roasted chicken. Not so typical, we'd say. Harry initially wanted to propose to the love of his life in Botswana, but according to the couple's Netflix documentary, Harry and Meghan, he was forbidden from proposing abroad. And without the permission of his nan, the queen, he was forced to abandon his plans and propose in the UK instead. Nevertheless, we think it's very sweet. The Tyndalls are known for shying away from royal convention, and the proposal was no different. He got straight to the point without pomp or fanfare. The ex-rugby player said it all happened while Zara was home watching television. In 2010, he plucked up the courage while the two were at home in Cheltenham. He said of the special night, she was on the sofa, so that made it easier. I said, will you marry me? Zara burst into laughter before finally mustering a yes. The pair later shared a photo outside their snow-covered home to tell of the engagement. Some might call it underwhelming, but we say it's charming. Now this is what we call a royal proposal. The couple's engagement goes down in history as one of the most spectacular. Jack Brooksbank and Princess Eugenie dated for seven years before deciding to tie the knot. It happened while the sweethearts were watching the sunset over a volcano in Nicaragua in 2018. Jack popped the question while the sun was setting and birds were flying. Princess Eugenie said the moment was beautiful and incredible. Her grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, was said to be very overjoyed with the news. She later shared the moment with her parents, Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, who were also pleased. Sounds like a dream come true. He may not be a royal prince, but he's definitely Prince Charming. Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi and Princess Beatrice first met as children, but dated for 11 months before the engagement. Eduardo's proposal to the princess was dreamy, to say the least. The two became engaged on a terrace overlooking the Amalfi Coast in Italy in 2019. The public witnessed the magical event 
through a picture posted to Instagram. In the photo, Beatrice showed off her £100,000 3.5 carat diamond ring. I forget Paris, perhaps Italy could be the new place of love. The Mozzies had been staying at the £3,000 a night Les Sirenus Hotel in Positano. The same hotel Meghan Markle stayed for her girls' trip just before meeting Prince Harry. I know where to book my next holiday then. The late Queen and her beau, Prince Philip, enjoyed a thrilling romance. Engaged almost 80 years ago, the love for one another remained solid until the end. Queen Elizabeth was one of the most powerful women in the world during her reign. But did you know her engagement was delayed for a year by her dad? Philip originally proposed to Elizabeth in the summer of 1946 while they were staying in Balmoral, Scotland. But her father, King George VI, requested they wait until the princess's 21st birthday the following year. Of course, the 26-year-old Navy officer followed orders and the gripping news was announced publicly on July 9, 1947. Philip used diamonds belonging to his mother, Princess Alice of Battenberg, to design the engagement ring. Their engagement attracted some controversy, citing Philip's financial standing and foreign roots. But their love couldn't be denied, and Philip became the longest serving royal consort in history. Not much is known about how the monarch proposed to his beloved queen. King Charles, who was then a prince, announced his engagement to Camilla in February 2005. The couple first dated in the 70s, but didn't tie the knot until April 2005 in Windsor. The pair, both divorced at the time, opted for a civil ceremony followed by a religious blessing. Their big day was less lavish than King Charles' wedding to Princess Diana in 1981. The grand event took place at St Paul's Cathedral and was watched by over 750 million people around the world. But the jewel the king used to propose to Camilla was just as spectacular. The gem can be traced back to the Queen Mother, who was seen sporting it in the mid-80s. The ring features a whopping five-carat emerald-cut diamond, complete with diamond baguettes on each side. The rock is reportedly worth around £200,000. Upscale getaways, a sunrise over a volcano, and even roasted chicken. It's clear the royal men get very creative when it comes to proposing to their sweetheart. Ah, oh, aren't they romantic? Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.